The retired president joined leader thronging Professor George Saitoti's Lavington home to eulogize the departed internal security minister. Professor Saitoti was Moi's second in command for 13 years, making him the longest serving vice president in Moi's 24 year reign. While eulogizing Professor Saitoti as a diligent leader who valued peace, the retired president revealed that he had thrown his weight behind his former deputy in the forthcoming race to State House. I was trying to help him from Rift Valley to help him to fight for the presidency of Kenya. So we have been talking together uh, all the time. I would have had no problem supporting him. Yes. <laughs> But Moi's statement immediately rekindled memories of his acrimonious fallout with Professor George Saitoti in 2002, at the height of the search for his successor from within the Jogo Party Kanu. At that time, Professor Saitoti was seen as a clear favorite, having served as Moi's loyal deputy for 13 years. <laughs> Moi then proceeded to handpick Uhuru Kenyatta, then a political greenhorn, as his preferred successor. <laughs> During the Kanu NDP merger at the Kasarani Gymnasium, Moi publicly differed with his then deputy, prompting Professor Saitoti to make a statement that has remained synonymous with him. They come a time, they come a time when the nation is more important than an individual. While Moi's friendship with his vice president of 13 years may not be in doubt, it uses the revelation that he was supporting Professor Saitoti's presidential bid that may raise questions. There is no demonstrable evidence. There is no point of conversion from the Moi of 2001 in Kasarani and Kiligoris to the Moi who is now uh, consoling the family of Professor Saitoti. For 14 months between 1997 and 1999, Moi had ruled the country without a substantive deputy, even though Professor Saitoti, who had occupied the slot between 1989 and 1997, was still an elected member of parliament and a cabinet minister, and therefore eligible for the country's second top job. Moi later handed Professor George Saitoti the job casually at a roadside meeting in Limuru after intense pressure in what was dubbed a roadside appointment. George did not quarrel with anyone, didn't quarrel, he was a man of few words. While condoling with the fallen minister's wife Margaret Saitoti and other family members, the retired president urged them to remain prayerful and strong, even though death had robbed them of a family man and the nation a diligent patriot. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.